We are back here on another episode of WDWA with Travis Nafour and your new commissioner, Mr. Gavin Jackson. Travis, it's been a blast, but the opportunity showed itself and uh, definitely we'll be uh, shooting this uh, company off on a rock in here. Soon. Oh yeah, couldn't agree more. And with that being said, we got the action underway. Let's go. Here we go. This is a match a lot of the people at home have been waiting to see. Eric C. Jones. Eric C. Jones carrying his trophy right around his waist. Speaking of trophies, look what's following him to the ring. He's got that insurance policy and Mike Strong. You know, with having the new job as commissioner, I got a feeling I'll be bumping heads with these guys coming soon. Quite the duo here. Eric C. Jones has a uh, a big hatred for luchadors, mass wrestlers. I wish Eric C. Jones would use a mask to cover up that hideous face. Couldn't agree more. And his opponent tonight is also big time fan favorite. I believe we have Dance Dance Lucha Libre pegged in this spot. Is he going to be the one taking on Eric C. Jones tonight? I'm pretty sure you're right. Dance Dance with the guy with the name so nice, you got to say it twice. Mr. Lucha Libre himself. Oh, man. I love this guy. You know, one thing about taking this new role as commissioner, you know, I'm going to be giving guys that deserve opportunities. You know, and this is one guy who's been working his butt off. I think he's going to need opportunities here in WDWA. Yeah, so bright future for Dan Dan Lucha Libre. He gives the people what they want every single time. If you could just tell an Eric C. Jones face, he's not laughing, he's not dancing. He is he not is amused at all with this young guy. Uh-oh. A little bit of MC Hammer action. I'm just gonna take a second and really take in this dancing. This is amazing, I love this guy. Oh, watch out now, he's a little too legit to quit. Can't help but bust a move with the guy. I mean, he's very contagious. We are underway. Eric C. Jones versus Dance Dance Lucha Libre here on WDWA Television on TV 10. <laughs> oh, I love, I love Eric's attitude. Fans are already making a lot of noise here in the WDWA arena. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. the size of the arms of Mr. Mike Strong out there. Wow. Mike Strong is going to be a, a force to be reckoned with. I think that the second he gets away from Eric C. Jones, that's when things are going to happen for that man. Yeah, I wouldn't get your hopes up. These guys are pretty tight, you know. I'm sure Eric C. Jones pays him well. That's true. There, there's a strong bond there. Crowd getting behind Dan Sands, Luigi Libre early on. In our main event tonight, we have a battle royal. A battle royal to determine whoever wins becomes last in the Royal Rumble at Berkeley Media, and the first one out is actually entered number one in that Rumble. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Definitely looking forward to that on the program tonight. I am. I love me some battle royals, Travis. Eric C. Jones got the headlock in tight there. This beautiful switch. Oh, look at those dance moves, Travis. Looks like Eric C. Jones is a little bit of a dancer himself. Yeah. Got some young MC. Don't just stand there, bust the move. All right, Eric. Now let's get it together. Let's have a professional wrestling contest here. Looking for a big tie up here. You can tell Dance Dance, Lucha Libre, 
has not been around too much. You never put your back to the talent on the outside of the ring. The deep arm drag there from Jones. He's got a lot to learn, but he's got a lot to offer, Travis. Checking his own pulse. Wow. The arrogance. Oh! Did you see the impact on that? Big body slam. Man. And the physique from Eric C. Young. He learned that from Mike Strong for sure. He is feeling it tonight. All right, now let's get the action going. Another lock up here. Oh, did you that, see that? He had him with the hip toss there. That looked like a hip toss, and then a deep arm drag. Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. Go. Dance, dances. Got him right where he wants him. Beautiful scoop slam. Dance, dance. Lucha Libre is on fire. Big drop kick, and Eric's on the outside of the ring. Who would have guessed that? Referee Billy Bauer just right on it. What's Mike Strong doing? What is he doing? Getting a, st a steel chair, possibly? Yes, he is. I do not want Mike Strong near me at all with a steel chair. I don't know, but they may be outsmart in dance dance right here. That's a one-way ticket to the emergency room. Laid him out with that steel chair. No, not this way. Eric C. Jones. Beautiful back suplex. Come on. Not this way, Eric. I cannot stand this man. He is wild. You got to give it to him, though. He does whatever it takes to win. Now, Mike Strong. No, the damage is done. You guys don't need to do this. Please. Come on, can we get the other mass wrestlers to help or something? S something. Is this a second slam? Two slams? Mike Strong, come on, man. Give him a break. I think he's taking Dance Dance Lucha Libre's chances taking out, out the of the Battle Royal. Taking out the ref? What do they have in store for Billy Bowers? I don't know, Bill. Billy better be careful. Please don't do this, Mike. Oh, Billy, get out of the way, Billy. Oh! Billy sandwich in the corner. Down goes Billy. You don't want Mr. Mike Strong getting hungry when you're in the ring with him. Now what are they doing to, come on. Oh, watch out. Not to Billy. Billy doesn't deserve this. Oh. Vile. Disgusting. I think Billy Bowers and Dance Dance Lucha Libre both combined look like Mike Strong's arms. And they're not done. Gavin, you're the commissioner here. I am the commissioner. Unfortunately, it doesn't go into effect till Berkeley Mania. Gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. I wish somebody would do something about this. He's setting up the chairs, and for what? I definitely agree with you there, Travis. Come on, Eric. Your, your, your statement's made. You don't need to do this. Face first into those chairs. Somebody needs to do Oh, they're ripping the something. mask, Travis. They're doing what to the mask? They're ripping it. They're ripping the mask. They're exposing uh, Dance Dance Lucha, Lucha Libre's face, which is a, one of the biggest insults you could do to a Lucha Libre. It is. That is the biggest insult. Come on, guys. I don't know. Somebody needs to get out here and save the day. He's taking off the mask? Come on, Eric. Your message is sent. That's enough. Mike Strong is just along for the ride. He's, he's, uh, I don't even know what to say at this point. Look at the destruction here. They're not done? Is that a door? No. Wow. Mike Strong is bringing a door into the ring. What is he going to do with that, Gavin? I, I 
I don't know. Become a carpenter, I guess. Jeez. Setting up that door between the two chairs, it looks like. And now the real destruction is going to happen. Yeah. We need to get somebody out here. I hate to see this. We're just sitting here watching this go on. Yeah, the, the price of lumber is just so high right now. I don't think they want to ruin this door, Travis. He's got him up. Oh my gosh. Throwing him through it? No, he didn't he didn't slam him through it. What are they gonna do with that? I have no idea, Travis. The mayhem. I think they're gonna lay him on it. Wait, what is Mike Strong gonna do at this vantage point? Don't do it. Oh, look at that don't. guy. Scary. Please don't. No way. Oh! Whoa! Travis, did you see that? He broke him in half. Whoa. I can't believe what I just saw, Travis. Through that door. And oh. now, here they Hit go. in the ring. We've seen these guys all over social media say that they're coming to WDWA. And they have come here to make a statement against these guys. A day late, a dollar short. You should have came and saved Dance Dance Lucha Libre much earlier. What? Yeah, but look at the size of these guys. Jeez Louise. There's a camera behind Eric C. Jones. I mean, these guys, these guys know no limits. Disgusting. They're calling them out. I cannot believe what I just saw. I, when I take over this commission, I can't let this stuff happen. This is the worst thing I've seen here at the WDWA. I am just speechless. I cannot believe this what is, I just saw with my own eyes. This is the worst thing I've seen here at WDWA because I'm staring at the backside of, of Eric C. Jones right now. Eric, can you move out of the way? It's just that you hate to see it. Such a young career. His career might be over after something like this. We may be seeing the last of Dance Dance Lucha Libre. Well, if you don't know it by now, I would not show up with a mask here in WDWA because these two guys will tear you apart. They will. They've been on a path of destruction. They have made it very obvious. They do not like men with masks. Oh, let's be quiet real quick. Got to go to the ring. We are the Trexlers. We issued the one and only warning that Dance Dance they call themselves the Drexlers, Travis. Wow. August 14th, a street fight? August 14th, a street fight? Berkeley Mania! Got the, got the Drexler brothers. Let's, let's see if they accept. What better place to settle your score than a Berkeley Mania? Wait, what a place to make your debut, too. The Drexler brothers. Look at these guys. Incredible. I hope that they finally put Eric C. Jones and Mike Strong in their place. Well, with the size of these guys, you know they're going to be hell to be reckoned with. There we go. We got Richie White back in there. Our senior referee. A lot of history with uh, Reggie White and myself. He used to manage me for a couple years. One of the smartest guys I know. Now I want you to take a good look at uh, Ivan Ali. This man stands very close to seven feet tall. And he's accompanied by Aubrey Wright. Ivan Ali with 15 years experience. That's right. In my uh, younger days, I was in a ring with Ivan Ali, and he was just, he was just every bit of the wrestler he was back then. Finally, to now, he knows where he's at in the ring at all times. Yeah, and don't sleep on Aubrey Wright. No. T 10 years experience. That's he has right. held tag team champions in multiple companies. 
combination of these two longtime tag wrestlers coming together, they should definitely be a, a force to be reckoned with here in the WDWA. I agree with you 100%. I'm looking forward to watching these guys work. Right here's one of my favorite wrestlers, Mr. Motivation, Eddie Velasquez. Yeah, Eddie Velasquez has really been impressing me. He'll be teaming up with El Lucha King, Felipe. He came up short on his light heavyweight challenge match, but uh, now he's going to try himself with the tag team. That's right. It's a brand new day, and we are going to see what if, if he can get it done tonight. And, uh, making himself up with El Lucha King, three years experience, trained by the Wild Samoans. He's a second generation luchador. This guy has won the ADLL Mexican Cruiserweight Champion down in Mexico. Wow. And brought it to the United States. That's amazing. Yeah. Very impressive, very impressive. So many accomplished wrestlers here in the WDWA. There they are. They are. You know, these guys have battled each other all over the world. And they have finally come to agreement to tag team and try their chances. And I, I think when you get two great competitors like that, that get on the same page, I mean, oh, yeah. oh, championship yeah. material written all over them. Oh, for sure, for sure. Couldn't agree more. I mean, once you've been in the ring with somebody so many times and then you decide to team, like you said, uh, it could be the recipe for success. And we will most definitely find out tonight because this is a big challenge for these two. I'm looking forward to this matchup, Travis. Big Money Inc. Looks like the righteous one, Aubrey Wright, might be starting the match. Let's see what Aubrey Wright's got in him. Looks like he'll be starting with Felipe Jr. The Lucha King. And the action is underway. Thank you so much to TV10 for airing World Domination Wrestling Alliance. We love to bring you the best action of professional wrestling. Here we go. We got an Ole uh, chant going here. Eddie Velasquez loving it. Ivan Ali, not a fan. Not a fan at all, Travis. Here we go, the action is underway. We got a little bit of a circling going on, and here we are with the little bit more trash talk in here. Aubrey, Aubrey Wright, it seems like he's, yeah, he's playing his cards right. He's taking his time. He knows the quickness of this team, and you know, he's, he's not gonna fall in their trap. That's right, slow down the pace. This might be the old turtle in the hair. Sometimes slow and sl steady gets you to the promised land. Looks like Felipe Jr. looking to pick it up with the big whip. Oh, Lucha oh. King with a nice drop toe hold into us. Is that a DDT? That shades of right there's the Mexican wrestling right there. It was Lucha hard. Libre. It was hard to get all the wrap all the way around Aubrey. He's such a big guy. Big time big body drop. Here comes Mr. Motivation himself. He says it's time to get motivated. A little bit of tag wrestling here. With the double whip. Double back elbow and what do we got here? The referee is taking good. Richie White is making sure this match is staying right down the line here. They're trying to get motivated. You could do anything with the motivation. Oh, leg drop into a senton. That's right. Impressive, impressive showing so far. If they could keep up the momentum, they could have this match in the bag. Mr. Motivation right here. Former U.S. Marine. Oh no, here comes Big Ivan Ali. He's getting there with Big Ivan. There you go, that's all you gotta do whenever you're a man his size. The undeniable Ivan Ali. Undeniable is right, how could you deny that man? He is gonna take the ring and make it his own. Well, 284 pounds, standing six foot seven, you can do whatever the hell you want in that ring. That's right. 
got Eddie Velasquez by the head, taking him into his own corner. Smart move. Here comes Aubrey Wright with the tag. their corners, one place you do not want to be. Money Inc. Bad spot in tag wrestling right there. Keeping them, keep, you see they're cutting the ring in half and they're making sure that they, you see, they're cutting that ring in half and that's what you get. Richie White, you can't be turning your back on Big Money Inc. like that. These guys, these guys have too many years, too many years in this business. They'll take any advantage they can get. Aubrey Wright, he's got Mr. Motivation, Eddie Velasquez, where he wants him. It's hard to get motivated when you're constantly on that, on that mat. He's got that head hook, here comes Big Ivan. There you go, big kick to the gut, that's all he has to do. A man his size. He is a big guy, he might be one of the biggest guys here at WDWA. There's no doubt about it. Eddie Velasquez is in the land of the Giants right now. Oh, big time chop. Wow. I think I saw that through Mr. Motivation's back. Yeah, Felipe Jr., he's just on the side of the ring here. He's just watching Eddie Velasquez get dominated right now. That's all, that's all Ivan knows how to do. Ivan Ali, that's all he does is dominate. I'm telling you right now, if he can hit a signature move of the big boot, hitting out that sit out reverse pile driver, he's got it in the bag if he can land that move. This guy's got a whole bag of tricks. Eddie Velasquez showing a little bit of heart right there. Oh. Nope, nobody home. He's, he's just, down. Ivan Ali, just too big for him. Too big, too strong. Crowd is chanting motivation, though. They, I mean, they want Eddie Velasquez to get the win tonight with Felipe Jr. Well, that's why it's very underrated. Here comes Aubrey Wright. What are they going for here with the big double suplex? Oh. The ground just shook. Wow. There you go, Felipe yeah. Jr. Eddie you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Eddie Velasquez is also trained by the Wild Samoans. Wow, I didn't know that. That's a pristine uh, wrestling school it's, in America. Yeah, Ooh, one they, of the top ones. And they know how to train these boys. They, when they leave that school, they leave tougher than ever. They don't make it easy, that's for sure. And I'll tell you, with going up against a team like like Big Money Incorporated, you're going to need to be tough. Oh, come on, Aubrey Wright, you didn't have to do that. Here comes Felipe Jr. He just, he just got slapped in the face. Yeah. El yeah, Lucha King is all over. Two guys this size cheating like that. It just shows a lot about them. You know, I'm curious if uh, Felipe Jr. will be able to get one of these big guys up in the Lucha driver. What do you think? That's a good question. We're definitely, we're, we're gonna find out tonight. What a match so far. Throwing Eddie Velasquez out of the ring now. There you go. And now Ivan, he sees Eddie Velasquez on the outside. What is he gonna go for? Big Ivan Ali has him by the throat, looks like. Man, this Mr. Motivation's fighting. Oh! That'll do it every time. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you felt that at home. Ivan Ali caving in some chests. Believe me, it feels just like it sounds. Going for the cover. That's a one, that's a two. I mean, if I was Eddie Velasquez, I might even just lay down for the three at this point because who who would want to stand up to a man that size? I'm going to agree with you 100%, Travis. See? He needs to find that motivation now. Ivan Ali is a big, scary guy. Look at that, Mr. Motivation coming back. That kid's got heart. Big and Zaguri from the corner. Eddie Velasquez, he still has a little bit left in the tank. What is this? What is this? Beautiful Bulldog. 
Unbelievable. Looks like we got ourselves a stalemate here on the ground. I think whoever gets to their corner first is gonna have a big advantage in this match. There's no doubt about it, Felipe Jr. It looks like he's ready. Aubrey Wright, he's ready. Richie White right there to, to count it down for us. And we're now at the five count. And we got the first tag. Aubrey Wright's coming Aubrey in. Run. Aubrey Wright's coming in. This on the clothesline. Up. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Aubrey Wright just too strong, too powerful for him. Back on his feet. Look at that. Felipe Jr. on fire. Drop kick. And out. another one. That's right. Tagging back in Eddie Velasquez. Eddie Velasquez hasn't had too much of a chance to get a breather, but it looks like he took the tag. He's coming back in. You're right, but they got two guys on him right now. Sit down in the corner. What are we going for here? Whoa! I've never seen that. I've never seen that move either, Travis. Way to, way to use the guy's body weight. Nope. Nope, Ivan's got him. Ivan's got him indeed. That's not where you want to be. He he wants back in the match. And it looks like he's getting his wish. Big Ivan Ali, Felipe Jr. Here comes the face-off. You need to get down here to custom creations to actually see this guy in person, to actually see how big he really is. And look at Felipe Jr. He's got him. Here comes some Lucha Le Lucha or Wrestling. Whoa, oh, look at the strength. Power bomb. That, that'll do it. He's not done. Whoa, look at the strength. Better be watching Eddie Velasquez. He's not out of the ring yet. Big Ivan with, with two power bombs there. And here comes the big third. one. Yep. Oh wow, he used Felipe Jr. to his advantage, hit Eddie Velasquez am, with him. I am very impressed with the undeniable Ivan Ali. Eddie Velasquez caught him. He didn't connect with that power bomb. Looks like he sacrificed himself to save him. Another tag. Aubrey Wright's now in. What are we going for here? He's got him in a, like a razor's edge type. Wow, look at that. Innovative. That wow. was innovative. I've never seen that. And there you have it. What a showing. These guys definitely came. These guys definitely came to show WDWA what they got in store. With guys this size, they're going to be hard to, to get over on. Big Money Inc., Aubrey Wright, Ivan Ali. What a team. I can't believe the size of these guys. I have a lot of pity for any team that finds themselves in the ring with Big Money Inc. in the future. You know, you can train hard, you can be very motivated, but when somebody just has your number, they have your number. There's nothing you can do. Look at the size. He's almost as tall as that top rope. Wow, main event here at WDWA, a lumberjack match. I don't know if you're familiar with why we have Danica, the former referee, Danica Myers in the ring right now. Danica Myers uh, was trying to, to interview Shane Malice, and Shane Malice laid his hands on her. She asked the owner, Latin Tornado, if she can uh, come back out of retirement to referee this match. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Well, with that being said, we are all caught up and we are headed to the ring for your main event. Here comes Cisco. Highly decorated here at WDWF Cisco. Yes, he is. Yeah, I mean, he proves it every time he's in the ring. He gets it done. I mean, but these guys, they're allies. They are allies. They're being forced to fight here tonight in our main event. 
The Latin Tornado said that he actually wants to see a match out of these guys. He doesn't want to see any tomfoolery. Well, the last time we saw these guys, they, they beat down uh, Triple Fierce Kevin Mears and had him taken out in a stretcher. And uh, because they did so, they're being forced to fight each other tonight. Uh, Shane Malice, he actually pulled me to the side whenever I got to the building tonight, and he wants to be known as the Five Fears Shane Malice. A Five Fears, way uh, to stick it to Kevin Mears. That's two more fears. That is. You're very good with math. I, I have a calculator. <laughs> All right, down to business here. In the main event of the evening, we are waiting for the Steel City Sex Pistol Shane Malice. You know, Cisco may be very decorated, but Shane Malice five times WDWA world champion. Shane Malice, he's been everywhere, he's done it all, and now he's gonna take on his friend. And what I'm hoping is an actual match. I'm hoping to, uh, I'm sure these guys got something up their sleeves, but I would love to see them throw down. Five fears, Shane Malice. City Sex Pistol. His track record speaks for himself, one of the most decorated men in WDWA. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're just now tuning in to TV10, we are in the main event of the evening, Shane Malice versus Cisco. Sizing each other up, this is an interesting dynamic. Lumberjacks. Here we go. We're going to have ourselves a nice Lumberjack match here in our main event. It's one of my favorite matches uh, from watching whenever I was a kid. The Lumberjack match. There will be multiple wrestlers on the outside of the ring. If one of the competitors are thrown outside of the ring, it is up to the Lumberjacks. Uh, they can do whatever they want. They can beat on you a little bit. They can just throw you back in, uh, which makes an interesting dynamic. I really think this is uh, the owner, Andrea Suarez's way of saying we want you guys to stay in the ring. Do not run for the hills. That's right. And we got all the all the WDWA wrestlers out here now. Not all of them, but you know, we got enough lumberjacks to keep this thing in order. Got a lot of people out here. A lot of heat on both, all sides of these rings. I'm really looking forward to seeing who comes out on top on this one. I know these guys are friends. Such an interesting dynamic for this one. Danica's right there to call it right down the line. Shane Malice was just pacing. I mean, uh, it seems like there's a lot going on in his mind. A lot has to be going on in Cisco's mind. Well, I'll be honest, you know, this is a great opportunity for Cisco to show that he can hang with uh, former world champions. So true. If I was Cisco, I would, I would take it to Shane Malice tonight. Everybody wants to be the champion. That's all I'm saying. I have no doubt in my mind that he's got everything it takes, Travis. And here we go. We're finally, we're, we're going to see it right now. Face to face, we got a stare down going down. With the handshake, are we going to start this off with a handshake? I mean, they should, they're friends. Yeah, I don't see why they wouldn't. Oh, wow. There is no handshake with us. Shane Malice, he doesn't like losing though. Maybe that's why. I don't think Shane Malice really likes anybody but Shane Malice. So true. He's gonna show his true colors to Cisco tonight, I bet. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll link up with guys, have them do work for him. You know, maybe see eye to eye on disliking guys like Kevin Mears. But let me tell you, Shane Malice is in this for Shane Malice. Whoa! Wow! Did you hear that news, Travis? Go ahead and tell it for the fans at home if they didn't catch that. If you did not catch 
what owner Latin Tornado just said. He just said. Sorry, I'm letting Shane Malice get his word in, but if you just not hear what he said, he said that if Shane Malice loses to Cisco tonight, he will not even be allowed to attend Berkeley Mania to get a chance for a sixth WDW World Champion. He wow. must wait. So he has to win tonight or no Berkeley Mania. No Berkeley Mania. Unbelievable. You know, that is the prize, you know, to main event Berkeley Mania. Well, that changes everything. Now this just got even bigger for Cisco. There's a lot more on the line. But if Cisco was a good teammate, wouldn't you think that he just let Shane win? But I think Latin Tornado said he's not going to let that happen. Definitely giving the fans what they want to see tonight. No such thing as friends, no such thing as foes. Two great competitors going one on one. A lot to lose here, though, Travis. Shane wants to be a Berkeley Mania. And now he's fighting for his spot at Berkeley Mania. Here we go with the circling now. Show him why you're the Steel City Sex Pistol. He's going to show him why he's the two time Holy Grail winner and the two time WDWA Wrestler of the Year. Cisco playing a little bit of cat and mouse here. You don't want to play cat and mouse with a snake. There's a lot of mind games being played right now. Now Shane, Shane looks like he's giving instructions. He's trying to get into Cisco's head right now. And that is typical Shane Malice. He's using psychology right now. Shane Malice is a puppeteer, Travis. The crowd is behind Cisco tonight. I bet you Cisco is not used to having a crowd cheer for him. I bet he's not. Here we go. Now those are some serious shots being laid in there. Duck in the clothesline, big arm drag. I think you can throw that friendship right out the door. I think, I think the shot to main event Berkeley Mania at Stan is a lot more important than any friendship they ever had. Look at that, impressive. No, nobody gets in this business to be second best, Travis. Now here comes Cisco, Shane Mounts back on the offensive, going to the top rope. To the middle rope, if you will. What is he gonna go for here? Look at that, Cisco is on top of it. Nice drop kick, sending Travis to the, or sending Shane Mouse to the outside. He drop kicked him out of the ring there. Now the Lumberjacks got to do their job. Malice is in no man's land. There you're just eyeing up him like dinner. Malice falling right in the lion's den. Nobody here likes Shane Malice. That much is true. So they want to get their hands on Malice. Nobody indeed, Travis, but Shane Malice has created that. He has pushed everybody away from him. But then again, on that side, it looks like there's more fan favorites on that side. So, of course, they would love to make the crowd happy by getting their hands on Shane Malice. Look, look, look at uh, Cisco there, though. He feels good. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. He's feeling it good. He's very confident. Very confident in his abilities. And he should be. What are we going for here? A head tilt to whirl. There you go. Keep up that momentum. Big drop kick in the corner. He had nowhere to go. Cisco going for the pin here. No cigar. Shane Malice just took a big right hand to the face. And 
Francisco is pumped up. Up and over, what do we got here? Cisco's laying in every shot he's thrown. Oh! Jay Malice one step ahead of Cisco. He's a ring general for sure. He saw that he was going to be going for that top rope. He drop kicked that rope right out of um, from the under of Cisco. All right, Malice is starting to get a little comfortable here. Uh oh. Uh, Malice hesitated to throw him out one side, threw him out to another. They are mauling him. They are gathering on top of him. It's the motivation right in there. Wow. They just ate Cisco alive. That was like a bunch of piranhas. Yeah. Oh, there's another masked guy up against Mike Strong outside. Wow. Now Shane Malice got him in the chin lock there, throwing some shots to the face. Cisco slowly working up. You almost can't even tell that they're friends. Both of these men want to win. I'm not sure they're going to be friends when this is all said and done. You ain't lying. There you go, Cisco using that strength. Beautiful kitchen sink by Shane Malice. He's always at the right place at the right time, it seems. He is. He's always two steps ahead of everybody he gets in the ring with. I mean, and he knows Cisco. He knows what Cisco has in his arsenal. 100% correct there, Travis. And we got Danica making all the counts tonight. She is the, the referee for this contest. She's going to call it right down the middle. Taking a break from being behind the mic to getting back in the ring. Oh! Whoa. That, that, that's it. What a power bomb onto his knee. That. No. There you go. And that's all she wrote. Shane's going to pick up the win right now. You know, and Shane, Shane Malice has that knee brace on too, which gives him a little bit extra. He kicked out. Cisco just kicked out of that. Whoa. Unbelievable. Can you believe? Unbelievable indeed, Travis. Now Cisco, I thought for sure he was out of it. I was gonna say he has that knee brace on and you know, using that. As a, as a weapon. Definitely use that to his advantage. If I know Shane now, it's the way I think I do. The crowd is getting behind Cisco, it seems. I'm not sure if they like Cisco more or they just hate Shane Malice more. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Cisco's got the advantage. What is he going to go for here? On. He's going to the top. What's he going for? Is he going to go for a springboard? I hope so. This is so beautiful whenever he does it. Here we go. And that's what you get here at the World Domination Wrestling Alliance. High impact move. Will he be going to Berkeley Mania? That was, it was almost over. The dreams of going to Berkeley Mania was almost over. I mean, this is the biggest event of the year, Berkeley Mania. Who wouldn't want to go? Shane is fighting for his life right now. He's fighting for his life indeed. He said he wants to be known as Five Fierce Shane Malice, but uh, he can't take his eye off Cisco right now. There you go, Cisco, being smart right now. Another springboard. Oh. Wow! Canadian Destroyer! What a beautiful move by Cisco. But, but I think he that needs, was all he had left. He needs to capitalize on this. Whatever he has, he needs to dig down deep and go for the pin right now. A pin is what needs to happen. Come on, Cisco. Yeah, yes. 
Whoa! Wow, bad ring placement. Malice yeah. was right there at the ropes. He hesitated just a little bit too much, Travis. I think he would have had him, and he would have sent Shane Malice's dreams of being a six-time WDWA World Champion to bed. Oh, without a doubt, Cisco is... He's in his groove right now. I think he could have a real good chance of winning. What a right hand. All the way to the outside, Shane Malice. The Lumberjacks might fight each other. He's back in no man's land. Wow, the, the action is right in front of the crowd here. Here comes Cisco. What is he going to go for? Beautiful senton. Flipping Sinton to the outside. Taking Cisco. everybody down like bowling pins. Yeah, he is feeling it. What a night. What a match. Ladies and gentlemen, Cisco has brought the fight tonight. Now he's fighting the Lumberjacks. This man's a, a crazy. I'm really hoping he sees how much he brings to the table and that he doesn't need Shane Malice. He is good enough on his own to become WDWA world champion. He has most definitely proved that tonight. Now what's happening? Big brawl on the outside. It's getting crazy out here. There's mass chaos everywhere. The Lumberjacks are fighting each other. What is happening? Shane Malice is hiding in the, in, in the second row. We almost lost the camera again. The action is spilling outside. Wow, it's Millennium almost hit upside head by Mr. Motivation right into the camera. Danica has lost all control of this match. Danica, you need to get in there, girl. I think we need to get her some help. Where are the rest of the referees? Shane Malice has a steel chair. It's just, there's just so much happening right now. Chaos down here in Martinsburg, West Virginia. If you are just now tuning in, Shane Malice versus Cisco in a lumberjack match. Chaos oh, is look happening at this. everywhere. That's, I'm sorry to cut you off, Travis, but Anthony Athens and I, ISP hooking it up. Now that's a match that's definitely going to happen here in the WDWA. It looks like some kind of order is still in the ring. Is this is Kalen offering his surface? The service is still on? And 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 now Cisco has the chair. Whoa! Danica's not gonna call it. I mean, he why would the she? chair? Did you see that? Holy cow, this is amazing. Oh! That was it. He just put Cisco to sleep. He broke the chair. He broke his jaw. Two. Is that it? Did he get him, Travis? Danica counts two. Wow. This is one heck of a main event. I mean, so much has happened. Shane Malice. There's still action happening on the outside. Nobody likes each other around here. There are guys all over the place. Well, wait a minute. Kalen Patrick. Shane Malitz has Kalen Patrick. No way. Did you, you see that? That was it for Kalen wow. Patrick. Oh, what's this? What's this? Two. Whoa! That's it! Shane Malitz is locked on to Berkeley Mania! Dreams of going to Berkeley Mania are shot. They are gone. Shane Malice, you are not allowed to be here in Martinsburg on August 14th. Wow, what a night for Cisco. He's got it. He deserves it all, guys. Cisco is your winner. Shane Mouse is not going to Berkeley Media. What a night. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for that battle royal. Yes.
Battle Royal, let me explain the rules again. If the winner will be will enter last in the rumble at Berkeley Mania, the first one out. Let's just go to the ringside. They're telling you now. So it sounds like traditional rules, just with a couple stipulations. Yeah, tr traditional rules. The only stipulation is the winner will get be last to enter the Rumble at Berkeley Mania, and the first person out will get lucky number one in the Rumble at Berkeley Mania. Very nice. And starting this off, we got Jacob Edwin, Michael Osborne. It's Bo Ross. That's Kaylin Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. Jones, he's loved by these guys. ISP. Oh, big Mike Strong. Who's going to get him over the top row? There's Clay. That's my man. That's who can get him over. Big yeah. Clay. Oh, yeah. This is going to be an awesome match. Blue Chipper. Seeing some new faces out here. That's yeah. awesome. Is that nice? Everybody wants a chance at the advantage at Berkeley Mania. He said Nacho won. Who's this guy? I mean, anybody could win this. Tori Bryan, new Dory face Bryan. here in WDWA. Yeah, never seen him before. That's awesome. I I love to see new talents. Oh, wow, what a. What a shot you get in a, a rumble like or a battle royal like this. Come on, Gavin, give us uh, give us a prediction here. Who do you think's got it? Wow, I mean, hold up, what's what's that? Do you hear that noise, Travis? Yeah, let's hold off on that for a second. Who is this? Whoa! No way! Ladies and gentlemen! Anthony Athens! Do you know who this guy is? Yes, he, I do. He is the first, the very first WDWA World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, he's got something to say. Let's hear him. That's right. And this battle royal is not starting without the end. Wow! Full of surprises, Anthony Athens. Back here in the WDWA. There you go. ISP looking to target him right out the gate, and that was not a good idea. Whoa! ISP is out! Whoa! Anthony Athens is... And what does that mean again for ISP? I have no idea. ISP might have been one of the people I was going to, to tell you that I wanted to win this, but... Wow. Wow, business picked up right away. This is amazing. What happened? You were hey, my you're pick. out. ISP here at the commentary table, he's asking us what happened. I mean, we're, we're seeing it as, as it's happening. He's just as shocked as we are. Wow, so much on the line in this battle royale. You just never know who's going to show up here at WDWA. So true. ISP was my pick. I thought he was I in it. Come this. here. Oh, ISP's. I didn't even hear the bell ring. You didn't hear the bell ring? I was going after Clay, and he moved, and I, I don't even know who he is. Let me introduce you. That is Anthony Athens. He is WDWA's first ever heavyweight champion. Well, someone should have kept me up to date on all this because I did not know. He had no right to just toss me over the top. He's, these are battle royal rules. These were explained right at the beginning, ISP. We got ISP here at ringside with us. He was the first one eliminated. 
this to my wife. He does not know how he's going to explain this one to his wives. I don't know. Hey, LA Stars out now? Looks like LA, LA Stars went over the top. Not sure who eliminated them, but. Another lost opportunity. You know, it's going to be hard for ISP to explain this to, to his wives. I mean, it's hard to satisfy one woman, much less seven. Is that Eric? Did Eric just go over the top? You'll have to give us a moment, fans. We're at a vantage point at the corner of the ring. We can't see all the eliminations. It looks like Eric C. Jones is eliminated. There's been a lot of eliminations. Whoa. And the, the uncle-nephew combination of the faculty are both out. We are down to six. I would love to do something about that, but I don't start commission till Berkeley Mania. And it's down to the final six, it looks like. You know, I knew if you would have had Doug Rafferty down there with you, but you know, I had to take care of your trash. Kalen Patrick, he could take it. Big Mike Strong, he could do it. Who's that? Willie Radical right over the top. There you go. Goodbye, Willie Radical. Kalen Patrick could be a wild card here. Whoa. Oh, spoke too soon. I'll go ahead and make Mike my prediction. Strong. I think Jordan Evans has it. Whoa, the blue chipper right over the oh, top. Okay, he's gone. ISP is leaving the booth. He's. Are we down to the final three? It looks like it. Big Mike Strong has the advantage. Oh, no, maybe not, maybe not. He's a big man. I thought maybe he'd be able to fight off both of these men. And ISP is down arguing with the referees. He's saying he was not ready, Travis. There's a little bit of problems maybe with the translation of the rules, I'm not sure. Possibly. Anthony Athens on top of Big Mike Strong. Look at that, Big Clay oh coming in. my gosh. What a kick from Cousin Clay, and he's trying to get the big man over. Yes, he is, it looks like they're both trying to get Mike out of there. I'm so happy to see Anthony Athens back here at WDWA. Oh, you love to see it. That guy, he is he's a star. He is great. I've been in the ring with him. I know what he brings to the table. But he ain't looking good wow. right now. I am so lucky I've never been in the ring with Mr. Mike Strong, I'll tell you that. Big oh, wow. Beal from the big corner. Big Beal on Big Cousin Clay by that big gigantic bear in the ring. Any three of these guys could really make big headway at Berkeley Whoa. Mania. That big Canadian polar bear just throwing the guys, putting them wherever he would like to. Clay's making his comeback. Anthony Adams, getting, he, uh, Athens, he's getting back onto his feet now. Slowly chopping them down. It's a good idea to double team Big Mike. That's what I would do for sure. Wow, wow. Big double clothesline. Wow. You know, Anthony Athens and Cousin Clay, both former WDWA World Heavyweight Champions. If somehow Mike Strong could take both these guys out. For wow. Sure. Hey, but don't take your eyes off of ISP. He's actually still down here at ringside. ISP, you lost. Just accept it. What's, what's Mike Strong going for here? Oh, two choke slant, man. You know how strong you gotta be to lift two grown men up with one arm? He's a behemoth. I've never personally done it. He, wow. I don't even know if behemoth is the right word for this man. He's a juggernaut. He is the Canadian juggernaut, Travis. There's something in the water in Canada. Oh, not cool. Clay is just coming at Big Mike Strong. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to Mike Strong. You're just poking the bear at this point. That is one bear you do not want to poke. Oh! Just caught him. He was trying to get out of the way. He just caught him with that splash. It looks like Clay, it wasn't enough to put down Clay. Oh, Clay up and over. Yeah, oh. he's out. 
there goes Cousin Clay. You know, we are down to the final two people. Which Anthony's gonna have to do everything in his power to win. Which one of these guys will get the last pick in the Rumble? Anthony's showing all the heart in the world right now. He's showing why he's a star. And the crowd is saying goodbye to ISB, but he's still not leaving. ISB's making his own rules. It is down to Anthony Athens or Big Mike. One of them is going to Berkeley Mania with an advantage. Nice headbutt by Anthony Athens. Oh, you should never try to whip Whoa. him. Look at that! We have a winner! Travis, did you see that? Big Mike is going to Berkeley Mania. Mike Strong is, is going to be the last entry in the Rumble. You're going to send a fresh Mike Strong in that ring. Unbelievable. Travis, how in the world will anybody ever be able to, to throw out a fresh Mike Strong? Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't agree more, but there's a lot of action happening on the outside of the ring here. Anthony Athens is not happy with ISP. ISP pulled down that top rope and helped the elimination of Anthony Athens. Such a big moment to have Anthony Athens back here in WDWA just to have ISP ruin his moment. Looks like Eric C. Jones has some to say. Let's go to the ring. here between ISP and Eric C. Jones. Canadian. Saying that a Canadian is an American treasure, just one more way he can shove it in everybody else's face. We're gonna keep the camera on right now. Uh, Anthony Athens is still not to the locker room yet. He is not happy about ISP. ISP is also still at ringside. Come on, let them, let them, let them fight. Yes, we want to see it. We need more security out here. Now that is a match I cannot wait to see. Yeah, the fans sound like they want to see it as well. And here we go. Uh-oh. Yes, this is what we want. Anthony Athens getting the upper hand. He is not happy. 